What is going on everybody? My name is John Solo. Last week I shared a Harry Potter theory with you guys and at the end of that video I asked if you wanted me to expand and cover some theories from some different franchises. Your response was an overwhelming yes and I do mean overwhelming. So that is what we're doing today. We're going to talk about one of the most popular X-Men of all time, Wolverine, because I think this theory poses a fascinating question. Why does Wolverine wear yellow? I'll admit it's not something I put much thought into before, but after hearing the question, I thought it raised a pretty good point. Because why would Wolverine wear yellow? Wolverine is a savage, and I think most people would agree that a skin-tight bright yellow suit doesn't exactly scream savage. Interestingly, the director of the Wolverine film, James Mangold actually said something pretty similar when asked about it. Here's the quote. Nothing seems less Wolverine-like than the desire to put on a trademarked outfit, particularly canary yellow, and kind of prance about doing good deeds and have people go, oh my god, it's the Wolverine. At least as I see him, that's a real struggle for me and always has been. I understand where James is coming from with this. Wolverine is supposed to be a serious, stoic character, but his uniform doesn't really reflect that at all. So let's break this down a little bit and take a few things into consideration. Number one, for the most part, Logan only seems to wear the uniform uniform when he's working with the X-Men. When he's taking care of business on his own, he typically wears street clothes. Number two, when fighting alongside the X-Men, Wolverine is usually with teenagers. There's several variations of the team, of course, but because the X-Men are based out of Professor X's Institute, which caters mostly to teenagers and young adults, there's often young people involved in the dangerous scenarios they have to deal with. Number three, Wolverine is virtually invincible and for all intents and purposes cannot be killed. Not only that, but he is a tough tough mother with an incredibly high pain tolerance. I guess that's what happens when you're constantly on the receiving end of what are supposed to be killing blows. And number four, this is the big one. Logan has always been shown to be extremely protective over the younger X-Men. He's had multiple story arcs where he's mentored or taken care of younger mutants like Kitty Pride, X-23, Rogue, etc. There was also an arc where Logan starts his own branch of the X-Men and the main point of contention between him and the original branch was the original branch's use of children and teenagers. So what conclusion can we reach when we take all of this information into account? What might be the reason why Wolverine wears a bright canary yellow costume? Maybe to protect the younger X-Men? It's almost too perfect when you think about it because who do you think that the majority of the bad guys' attention is going to be on? Probably the guy who sticks out like a sore thumb wearing a bright yellow suit. He's easier to focus on and he's tearing through all of his enemies like a lightning bolt. By being impervious to harm, Logan can take on the burden of being the focal point of enemy fire with really no long-term disadvantages. By acting as a distraction, the attention is drawn away from the children and young adults who he doesn't believe should be involved in the fight in the first place, but are forced to due to the dire circumstances. There's also a few more things to consider that support this idea. The traditional X-Men costume is primarily blue with accents of yellow, like Cyclops's. Wolverine's is the exact opposite. He also wears the yellow costume when fighting alongside the Avengers. In most of the time when Wolverine is with the Avengers, Spider-Man, another teenager, is too. Two of the most memorable times Logan has ditched the classic costume have been when he was fighting alongside only adults. Once in Grant Morrison's New X-Men and another in Uncanny X-Force. And finally, we've seen this tactic used before, albeit in different comic universes. It's been confirmed by Frank Miller in The Dark Knight Returns that Batman wears a bat symbol on his chest, sometimes brightly colored, so his enemies will instinctively target him where he has the most armor. Similar strategy, right? So it seems like there's a lot of evidence out there to support this theory. Does that mean that it's all but confirmed? Unfortunately not, like most comic theories, because there are so many stories created by so many different writers and artists, there are some discrepancies scattered throughout the thousands of issues. In spite of this, it is going to remain headcanon for me. I'm a pretty casual fan of Marvel and grew up seeing only the animated versions of Wolverine where he was clad in yellow from head to toe. Keeping this theory in the back of my mind makes my old favorite X-Men character even cooler than I thought he was when I was a kid, so that's what I'm gonna do. How about you guys, though? What do you all think? Does this seem like a reasonable explanation for Wolverine's out-of-character costume? Let me know by commenting your thoughts down below, hitting that like button, and subscribing for new content like this every single week. Also, make sure you check out my Facebook and Twitter as well, because I've started uploading my videos to other sites, since apparently YouTube is run by a bunch of clowns. Thank you all so much for watching. In case you forgot, my name is John Solo and I'll see you next time.